So um, thank you all for joining us this afternoon, this e coming into the evening. Um, welcome to this workshop, The Power of Intuitive Art. And thank you, Anne, for inviting me today for the Steve Sinop Foundation. Thank you very much, and thank everyone for their donations for that wonderful charity. Um, so today, it's the power of intuitive art. So I suppose some of you are wondering, what's that all about? And I don't want to know if you're artists, I don't want to know if you've done art before, because it's not really important. What's important is, at this moment and this time, is for us to connect to our hearts and to allow this blank canvas to be filled with lots of colour. Thank you. Hello, Teresa. Hello. <laughs> Can I just um, give a couple of the ground rules? Just oh, yes, please do. Yes. In. So um, throughout, I'm going to be putting um, some information in the chat. And if you want to ask any questions, if you put them in the chat, we can save them uh, for the end for Heather. Um, I want to thank he Heather for doing this for us as well. Um, and I hope you all enjoy it. I'm going to be recording um, the video. So if anybody yes, doesn't join it, join, yeah, join it upstairs, yes. If anybody doesn't want to be recorded, could you turn off your video? And one other tip is that when you're not speaking and you're listening to the presentation, could you mute yourself? Um, because even for me, I'm not working from home today. I'm working at a friend's and they've got dogs and I know there's some children coming in soon. So um, if you could just mute yourselves um, and only unmute when you're going to ask a question or speak. Um, would you just clarify something for me? What will you be doing with the video? So the video, we will be... Um, sharing it with the people who weren't able to join us today because some people wanted to join us but can't and they've given their apologies and we will also share it on our youtube channel as well maybe so, edited version it'll be an edited version just to show the highlights of what we did okay 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 is everyone happy with that yeah mm -hmm. okay Back to you, Heather. Lovely. Okay, so back to me. So intuitive art. So what is intuitive art? Um, I am just going to be telling you and giving you some tools. And it's what I found very helpful for me um, when I studied art, when I studied intuitive um, therapist, uh, therapy, art with therapy. Um, so the tools I'm giving you you can use them at home if you're family, if you're friends with, ch with children. So whatever you find is comfortable for you to use, you can use. If it doesn't feel comfortable, it doesn't feel will serve you, you can put it to the side. So today is about filling the blank canvas with colour. It's about letting go of fears. It's about letting go of judgment and intuition. Um, not intuition, about letting your head get in the way. Let that go and just allow yourself just to be in this present moment and just take a deep breath and let your heart do the talking. So it's easy. Sometimes with this um, process, we can be, it can get quite emotional. Usually when I do the longer workshops, the one-to-one -one workshops, they can be quite emotional because sometimes things can be revealed on the canvas and expressed through emotion. So just allow, if that happens, just allow yourself time just to sit aside or to be, just to be still. But I always like to start with just a gentle, quick meditation, just to allow us to just forget the everyday stuff that's happened today, all the things that's going on around us. This is your moment now to be still, to connect with the heart, to have a lovely hour of intuitive art. So if, if you feel comfortable with this, you just put your hand on your heart and just close your eyes and just feel in tune with that beat of your heart, the power of who you are. And just close your eyes and just feel that beat of your heart. And when you're ready, just take, we're gonna take about five deep breaths. We're gonna hold for a moment and then let that breath go. So we're gonna start taking some deep breaths, just feeling that heartbeat. 
So we take the first deep breath and just start to, you might feel a little bit tingly around you, just start to wiggle your fingers. And I know a lot of us have been working at home and we don't have the health and safety coming to check our desks and our tables. So really get your shoulders just, just release and let go just for a moment, just for a moment. Okay, so has everyone got paper and pen or canvases or oils or something to write with, yes? Or have we got some just observers? Okay, so we're gonna start with the first exercise. And this is about just letting go. So has everyone got paper and pens? Yes, lovely. So hello, is that Terry? Hi. So this is just about letting go. We don't want any structure. We don't even want you to think about it. Just have a blank piece of paper in front of you. In fact, have more than one. If you've got a pad, that's fine. If you don't, it's, it's fine. If you've got, you can even use cereal box. If you want to recycle, I'm a great recycler. If you've got cereal box, you can use a cereal box. And just pick up the first random color in your hand and you want to fill that canvas. Fill that blank space of canvas. I'm going to use pastels and I'm just going to put this color on. This is what I'm feeling. I'm putting that color on this canvas. I'm not thinking about anything. I'm not thinking about structure. I'm not thinking about making it look pretty. I just want to put something on. I am filling this paper, filling this blank space, just picking up any random color and I'm making shapes. I don't want to see any part of that canvas, any part of that plate of that picture, any part of that blank paper. I'm just filling it in. Letting it all go. I'm letting everything. In fact, I want to turn over. I want to turn over and start again. And I'm taking deep breaths as I'm going along. Taking my colors out. Lines, circles, whatever you want to do, it's fine. And the mess is good. The more mess, it's better. If you want to put your hands in there, if you've got paint and you want to get really dirty, that's brilliant. Kids love doing that. And for us as well, it's getting back into that childlike state. So just fill in the canvas with shapes and feelings, letting go, letting go, opening up my heart, I'm letting go. I'm seeing, I'm feeling. I'm turning over to the next piece, picking up another cup. In fact, I'm just going to pick up a few crayons at one time. Crayons are also good to work with. And for people, sometimes art can be an expensive hobby. But for those who are in England, you've got the Pound Shop, you've got Wilco's, you've got Cass Art, and you can also work just with charcoal or chalk, which you can get from most places all around the world. And if you haven't got paper, like I said, cardboard paper, whatever's around the house, you don't have to throw all that paper away. Keep it aside. So just let things go. How is everyone feeling? Are you releasing all that tension? Yeah, release it. Don't think about what you're doing. Just let it go. Take deep breaths. Take deep breaths as you're going, because sometimes when we're getting rid of stuff, we need to breathe it out, breathe it out. You can see some wiggling going on there. I like that wiggle. Just bring that wiggle in as well. We can bring in that wiggle. Yep, that helps with the flow. Just bring out the color. I'm not even choosing, just grabbing the color. In art, in art, they say that you can't mix. You can't mix the different mediums. I mix everything together. To me, there's no rules in art. It's about feeling. How is everyone feeling? Good. I'm gonna keep going just for a little bit longer. Just release that. Hope you've got lots of paper or cardboard. The thing is, if you haven't, you can always go on top of what you've created. That's also about recycling. It doesn't matter. You can go on top of what you created. 
In fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back and just fill in some colour. Now, usually in my other classes, when we've got the more physical classes, one-to-one, -one, which is a day, usually the day workshops, before they put us all in lockdown, that is, um, it's really nice then to look back at your scribbles because within your scribbles, you can actually see some amazing things. So please do keep your scribbles. People sometimes see stories and faces in their scribbles. It's beautiful. And we've all got stories to tell. Wonderful stories. And those of you who haven't done art for a while, this is a really good start to remove that fear of picking up a paintbrush or picking up some pastels or watercolours and just allow yourself to get messy again. Okay. I've come prepared with my wet cloth. Lovely. I can see everyone's busy there. <laughs> okay. We're going to go on to another exercise. I'm giving you just a couple of seconds just to calm yourself slowly down from this exercise. Put in lots of love around the paintings that you've done around your lovely creations. I'm going to ask if we can, maybe we can show what we've done. We can just have a little show of what we've done. Oh, fantastic. Yay. Beautiful. Oh, I love that. Excellent. Oh, I love these colors. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well done. Round of applause, everyone. <laughs> Round of applause. <laughs> right, so as you've done that so wonderfully, we're going to go into the next exercise. And um, if you can just, I know things have been crazy. We're going to put that craziness aside and we're going to think about a beautiful moment. A beautiful moment in your life. It could be recently. It could be a while ago, a beautiful memory. And if you just close your eyes and see that memory and see the colors that are surrounding that memory and feel your heart as you close your eyes to feel that memory and get a sense of what color, what colors would that be? What form would that take if you were to pick up a paintbrush or a pencil? And what would you like to pick up right now? If you've got a choice of pencils or colors, think about that memory and the colors that it will bring and find yourself a blank canvas and think of that memory in the form of color. Breathe in the, the happiness and the smile that that memory has given you. And it could be something with you know, when you're walking with your dog, how happy you feel. It could be something for your grandchildren or for your children, something that makes you laugh. Sometimes in this moment of madness, we're forgetting about the little things that can bring us joy and bring a smile on our face. And so just take a moment to think of something that makes you happy. It could be a hobby, something that makes you smile. And when you're ready, just pick up your tool, your paintbrush, your watercolors, whatever it is, and just allow yourself to be free. Be free with the thought of the happiness, how it's made you feel. And the colors. 
I think with all what's going on, it's so important to look at the wonderful things that we're so lucky to have at this time. And it's the freedom, number one, to do something like this. They would never be able to take that away from us, would they? To be able to sit and with your paintbrush and just paint and feel connected to your heart. And this is something that you can do at home with the children. The holidays are coming up. And it's about having fun and enjoyment. If I'm talking too much, just tell me to shush. <laughs> I'll just let you get on with it, shall I? <laughs> but it is, it's, it's, it's about having fun, letting go. And sometimes we do forget about the lovely things. Remember, we're not talking about structure. We're not making a picture. We're using color because the pictures will evolve automatically on your canvas. You don't even have to try. Okay, at this moment, just write down on your piece of artwork a word a word of how you're feeling now while you're creating this beautiful piece why this piece is evolving into something beautiful what is the word you will put to this piece of canvas Sometimes it's so easy to get lost in this process. I can spend sometimes, I come out of my little studio and um, I realize six or seven hours have gone. <laughs> and I have no music in there, I have no TV in there. It's just me and my heart and my art. Heart and art. You can mix things together, mixed media, beautiful. In the early days I started off with watercolour but now I love acrylics and I recycle bits and pieces of material and I use sand a lot, I love structure and textures. So that's when I'm doing my, my art. Intuitive art is very different. Well, not so different, I suppose. How are we all getting on? Enjoying this? Yeah? This is your precious time, folks. Okay.
another just another another minute or so of this or a couple of minutes and just allowing your hands to just freely and your mind just to freely deliver the story onto paper And if you had to, you don't have to do this, but you can if you want to. If you have a look at this piece, it may not be finished. For a lot of people, this may not be finished. So you can always go back to it and finish it. If you look at your piece and for some reason you think, I need to add more, then you can add more at a later, a later day. But if you look at your piece now and you had to give it a name, Is there a name that you would want to give it? You don't have to, but you can give it a name if you want to. So, okay, so just, I just gently put the energy around that and allow us to move to the next exercise. I'm trying, I'm trying to give you as much as I can in the 45 minutes of the hour. <laughs> so I, I'm hope, um, I hope you still feel relaxed and calm with the exercises and you don't feel rushed. And if anybody would like to share their, if anyone would like to share their painting, Oops, that's mine. Oh, lovely colours. Beautiful. Beautiful. And like I said, if you if you feel oops, if you feel at any time you want to go back to that, you, you can. Very similar how we all got the same kind of colours, isn't it? Very interesting there. <laughs> lovely. So we take a deep breath again. Well done, everybody. Round of applause. Take a deep breath and um, this one is just, we're just going to visualize, let's just visualize some roots going down into the earth at this moment. Just visualize your feet firmly on the ground and just visualize roots going down into the ground just so we can just settle another minute or so into the next exercise. So we just um, clear that lovely exercise away and we start with the next one. So just visualize your feet like a, like a tree, with the roots of a tree coming, going down into the earth's core. So just visualize your feet going down, uh, roots coming down from, the, from, the, from your feet going into the earth's core and just allowing those roots to spread out into the earth's core. And just breathing in all the lovely energy of the earth. And we think about nature. We think about being surrounded by trees and beautiful animals and the colors of autumn, the autumn leaves around the trees. And if you can imagine yourself as a beautiful tree spreading out or maybe all closed in, or could also be a beautiful flower or a bud. If you were to imagine yourself as a tree or a flower, what kind of tree or flower would it be? Have a look in, a, in your, like your mind's eye and see, ooh, a tree. What kind of tree would I be? And just feel that. Sometimes um, if we can't, think about something or we, sometimes if you just pick up the pencil or the, the, the color that you're using and just set the intention into your hands, <laughs> into your fingers, it will start to produce something on the canvas. 
it will start to do something. And that is usually the beginning of, of the intention actually working on the canvas for you. So, is it a tree? Are you a tree? Are you a flower? And with this, you can choose your colors. You can choose the structure of your tree or your flower. How is it going to be? How is that tree going to be? And we don't have to be Picasso. We can just be ourselves. We can just add what we want to add, do what we want to do. Because we're a tree, we're a beautiful flower. So if you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be? How would that look? If you were a flower, what kind of flower would you be? And remember, we don't judge what we're putting on the page. We're just doing what we feel, with no judgment, no attachment either. I love it when people say, oh, I can't draw. No, I can't draw. I'm not creative. Everybody's creative. I believe everybody's creative. Okay. I wonder if there's one or two people that would like to talk about their tree. Is there anybody that would like to talk about their tree? And I was just wondering if somebody, I can't hear. Sorry, shall I unmute okay. one? Yeah, just see if, if somebody would like to share and maybe show us their tree or would like to talk about their tree and how they felt drawing it. Oh, hello. hello. Oh, beautiful. Fantastic. Is that Vivian? <laughs> Vivian. <laughs> oh, okay, I can hear. I couldn't hear you. So Lucy, Lucy was the first one. Lucy, would you like yeah. to talk about that tree? <laughs> I, that tree? I, I just like drawing trees anyway. So like, I just thought I would just draw a tree. That's beautiful. And how did you feel when you was drawing it? Do you feel happy? Yeah, it's really nice to draw without thinking. And I, right. I don't know that. Lovely, and great. And result. then I start to think, and then I start to think, oh, I'm going to ruin it now because I, uh, I start to think. So I thought I better stop. Yeah, and you can, you, but you can never, you can never, you ruin it. Really, you can't. But well <laughs> done, well done. Thank you, Lucy. Anybody else? And um, Vivian, you had yours up, Vivian. Um, Vivian. Yes, it, it looks a bit of a mess, but that's how. Um, a happy really. mess. A happy mess. Happy mess. Um, yeah, I, w I was going to go straight up the middle, but then I decided I'm not really a straight up the middle sort of person. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, uh, I've got big roots there because I'm very old. And um, yeah, and I've got a few leaves that you might be able to identify. But it's, not, it's not important. <laughs> That's lovely. It's in uh, pastels, so I feel very messy. Very nice. Thank you very much, Vivian. Anybody else like to share? 
you say, oh, you're a beautiful flower. Oh, that's my tree. Oh, that's the tree. Oh, the tree, oh, the other one. Oh, lovely. And how did you feel when you were drawing that? Um, well, okay, I just wondered if I should have, um, I've just done the top of the tree. I haven't done the, the lower part. So um, mm -hmm. I wondered if I should turn my page the other way, you see, and have the tree, a whole tree, but I've just got that top bit. Okay, and that's fine. That's the process that you've done at this time. So that's fine. So you can maybe that's, look at that. Yeah. Lovely, yes. Yeah. So for all of us, we can maybe look at, um, oh, lovely, at the bottom. Joyce, Joyce, is that Joyce? Joyce. Jolene and Josie. Josie, yes, lovely, beautiful, lovely colours as well. And um, Perry. Kevin. Lovely yeah. roots, very powerful yeah. roots there, beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> really lovely. Well done, everyone. Excellent. Um, Josie, did we see yours, Josie? You don't have to share. Oh, wow. Beautiful. And how did you feel when you were drawing that? Defiant. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's a tree with its head in the clouds. Ah, yes. I decided. <laughs> Thank you very much. Beautiful. Lovely. Well done, everyone. Well done. Round of applause. There you go. Well, that, that was my tree. If you can see it. <laughs> I went a bit over the other page, but that's fine. <laughs> I never did like direction. <laughs> okay, mm. lovely. So we'll just put the energy of that aside and take a, a deep breath. I'm realizing that actually we're kind of running out of, um, out of, out of time. Um, we've got 15 minutes. But what I'll, what I'll maybe do is just do, um, has, it, has anyone got acrylics there? Anyone got paints? Actually, got paints there, working with paints. Hands up, who's got paints? I've got um, pen, pencils that you can put paint water on. Okay, okay. Uh, you know, absorbent pencils. Um, oh, okay, great. Right. Emulsion paints. All right, okay. And so the others have got pencils. Have they pencils and coloring pencils, yeah? I've got watercolours. Watercolours, okay, brilliant. So because um, you can also use acrylics like watercolours. So sorry, because hands again, who's got watercolours and, and, and uh, paints? Okay. All right. That's fine. Right. We'll do, we'll do a different exercise then. So the other exercise um, um, I want to do with you is to, um, once again, uh, connect with the heart. And I think at this time when we're very much drawn to family, it's to think about um, a rainbow. And just allow yourself to put that rainbow onto canvas. But when you're, I don't want it, I don't want it to be a structured rainbow. So it doesn't have to be the rainbow colors. It's just for you to think about your family in the form of color. So think about your loved ones, the people around you, people supporting you at this time, and just throw that in a form of rainbows. Whatever colours you choose that rainbow to represent your family, your loved ones around you. So just think about that now. Love, family, rainbows. And I'm saying rainbows. Remember, rainbows can be also your interpretation of a rainbow. And it could be as playful, as fun as you like. As Lucy seems to be in debate there. <laughs> I was going to do something different, but if you all haven't got the watercolors, it's fine.
for your interpretation. Clean up that canvas again. The rainbow of life. The rainbow of happiness and at times sadness. Often do we take an hour out of our busy day to sit down and paint and draw? Don't do it that often, do we? I mean, I do, but maybe you guys don't. I want to give a little bit of time at the end so we can have a little chat and see how everyone's feeling and have a little bit of a closed down session. So we've, we've got about um, another couple of minutes. We've got 10 minutes before we actually close down, but um, I would like to have a little chat with everyone to see how they're feeling before we all go. So I want to save a couple of minutes at the end for that. So if this is a quick burst of sunshine. Remember, we're not judging. Just as well. <laughs> oh, I love all these movements going on here. All these head movements and body movements. <laughs> oh, lovely. That Joyce Lynn, lovely. Beautiful. That is so lovely. Thank you, Joyce Lynn. Joyce Lynn. Thank you. Excellent. Anybody else ready to show their masterpieces? Oh, very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Helen. Thank you. And Jill, beautiful colors there. Oh, some of these things you can frame there. I hope you're going to sign these pieces. Oh, yeah. You've got to sign these pieces. Some of these could be framed. They're beautiful. Thank you. Lucy and your, is that your son, Lucy? <laughs> Susan, beautiful. Thank you. Teresa, where's yours? Have I seen yours, Teresa? Oh, wow, beautiful, thank you. Thank you. Terry, is that Terry, have I seen? Do you want to show yours, Terry? Oh, very nice. I love hearts too, yes, beautiful. And have we seen everyone's now? Oh, very nice. Oh, you've had two, you've got two there. Excellent, thank you. You can see your son's working hard there. Well done. <laughs> and there's mine. Wow. Or that way. I can't remember which way, which other way, it doesn't matter which way it is. <laughs> thank you. 
So we have, folks, five minutes left. Mm. That time's gone really, really quickly. But um, just want to know how everyone's feeling. Is everyone okay? No headaches, no pain behind the eyes or anything. Everyone's okay? Mm. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you all very much. Um, there's also, I, I will be doing another um, webinar on Zoom on the 30th of October. It's also another free um, webinar that everyone's welcome to attend. Um, that's a three hour one, so it's a bit longer, so we'll have more interaction hopefully with that one. Mm. But um, thank you so much for attending. Thank you for being here. Has anyone got anything they want to say? Any questions or questions they'd like to ask? No? no thank you. It's surprisingly difficult to not... Don't end it yet! It's surprisingly end difficult it yet. to not think. <laughs> to not think. I drew this in class because I was really bored. He wants to show his art. All right, well done. Oh, oh that's very good. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. Very good. Thank that's you. so real. I looked that's really real. Really keep up. Keep up the artwork. Encourage that. Excellent. Fantastic. Anybody else? Any questions? No, just thank you. Oh, yeah, you're thank you. You enjoyed you're it. Welcome. I really enjoyed it too. Thank you so much for being here and spending your afternoon with us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, now stay safe, everyone. Stay thank safe. You. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.